This spell VFX alone can make your games better. It is an amazing ability you absolutely need to add to your games. So follow the steps in this video to know how to create this and watch to the end to know how to use it correctly in your games. Firstly, create a material, give it a name and set its shader to particle standard only. Change its rendering mode to fade and color mode to additive, then check two sided. Set the albedo to unity's default particle texture and select a color, then increase its intensity to about 2. Next, create an empty game object, give it a name and reset its transform. Then move it a little bit upwards, so it doesn't collide with the ground. Then under it, create a new particle system and call it Flare Bright. Set its duration to 10 and then disable looping. Set its start lifetime to 1 and the speed to 0 because it doesn't need to move. Set its size to about 0.35 and change the rate over time to 2 with the burst count of 1. Disable shape and enable color lifetime to make it a fade in fade out, as you can see right now. Then assign the material you just created. Now duplicate that particle system and rename it to Flare Dark. Change its size to about 1.5 and give it a darker color with an alpha value of about 45. Now for the color over lifetime, bring these two keys closer to each other. And this is what it looks like for now. Then, download this free software called Material Maker. In its workspace, press spacebar and search for Voronoi. Then set the scale Y value to about 16 and increase its intensity to about 1.5. Then connect its scale X to the albedo and lastly export under Unity 3D. Back to Unity, create an unleashed shader graph for the shell of the effect and give it a name. Set render phase to both and enable alpha clipping. Now, create two color properties, one for the interior of the shell and another one for the exterior of the shell and make sure both of them are in HDR mode with a white color for now. Then, create a texture 2D property, add it to the graph and connect it to a sample texture 2D node. Make its default texture to the Voronoi texture you just created and then to control its power, connect it to a power node. Then create a float property called texture power, add it to the graph and connect it to the power node. Make sure to set its default value to 1. Now add both the front color and the back color to the graph and multiply each one of them to the output of the power node. To test this with only the front color, connect it to the base color and connect the output of the power node to the alpha. Create another float property and call it a road. Make it a slider and set its default value to about 0.3. Then add it to the graph and connect it to the alpha clipping. And then save the asset. Create a material from this shader and give it a name. Then choose only its front color for now. To test this, create a sphere game object and apply the material to it. And now, as you can see, when you move this slider, it erodes. So just delete that and duplicate the flare dark particle system, then give it a name. Then reset its color to white with full alpha. Make sure its rate over time is 0 with the burst count of 1. Disable color over lifetime, enable size over lifetime and select this curve. Change its render mode to mesh and select its sphere. Then change its render alignment to local. This is what it does for now but we still need to differentiate the interior from the exterior and make it move. So add an is front face node and connect it to the predicate of a branch node which is an if statement. So if it is a front face we want to see the front color and if it is a back face we want to see the back color. Now to make it move, create a vector 2 property and call it speed, add it to the graph and multiply it to a time node. Then connect it to a tiling and offset node and then to the UV of the sample texture. Set its default speed to about 1 on the x-axis and now it moves. Now copy the front color and paste it to the back color and then increase its intensity. This is what it looks like for now. Also, to make this more realistic, create a new particle system. Set its duration to 10, lifetime to 2, speed between 0.25 and 0.5.
and the size as a random number between 0.01 and 0.05. Then set its shape to sphere and give it the lowest radius. Enable velocity over time with an orbital value of about 2. And then enable size over lifetime and select this curve. Also assign to it the material you created recently. Lastly, duplicate that particle system and set its duration to 7. Disable looping and set its start lifetime to 0.5 with a start speed of 3. Set its start size to about 0.1. Then increase the radius of its shape to about 1.5 and set the render mode to stretch billboard. Set its speed scale to about 0.05 and to make it move inwardsly, give it a negative speed. Also make sure to disable velocity over lifetime and this is the final result. Of course, you can change the colors as much as you want. So now that you know how to do this, make sure to watch the video on screen right now to know how to do this heat effect. Thanks for watching.